pork chops with apple stuffing right after this. garden maters welcome to corner homestead so i'm getting ready to put supper into the oven again and it's a recipe that i wanted to share with you it takes no time at all to make so easy and it is truly one delicious filling meal so today i am doing boneless pork chops with apple stuffing and i use a supermarket hack which is my stove top let's put it together real quick show you how easy it is. I think this is one recipe you're truly going to enjoy. So what do we need for this meal? I'm so glad you asked. You're going to need one box of stovetop stuffing. This is a twin pack but I'm only going to be using one. One medium sized onion. If you have a large you would only need about half of the onion. Going to need one apple. Good size apple. You want to have at least one cup of apple once it's diced. If you need two small ones, that's fine too. You're gonna need one cup of celery. Unfortunately, I do not have any fresh celery here today, but I'm gonna use a jar of my canned celery that I did last year. If you didn't see the video on how I did this, please feel free to go back and watch it. I'll leave it at the end of this video in the corner. Be easy just to click on it but this is gonna work out perfect because it's not just for soups and stews. Gonna need a stick of butter or margarine. I'm gonna use the margarine. You need six to eight boneless pork chops. That's gonna equal about two pounds. The only other thing you need, chicken broth. We're gonna need about one to one and a half cups of chicken broth to put into our stuffing. And other than that, that's it. So let me show you how easy it is to put this together. First thing I'm going to do is get my onion chopped. I want to dice it, get it ready for the frying pan. Okay, so the onions are sauté, and before I start the apple, I want to let you know that if you have fresh celery, you would also add the celery in now. Let them saute with your onions. Because I don't have the fresh celery, and I'm gonna be using my jar of canned celery. It's already cooked, so I'll be adding it in later. But add your celery now, if it's fresh. So I thought the camera was recording, but it wasn't. So I've diced up my apple into small pieces. And this is one whole apple. So our onions are pretty well done. You don't want to cook them too, too long because they are going to cook mainly in the oven. So we'll go ahead and add our one package of stovetop. And this is the chicken flavor. You can use turkey if you prefer. We just like the chicken flavor the best. Going to add our one cup of chicken broth or more. You can use your own judgment. You just want it until until the breadcrumbs are really good and saturated. So this was about probably one cup left in this container. And I'm sure I will be adding more. Just give it a few minutes for the breadcrumbs to soak in the chicken broth. But I can already see I'm going to need more. And while you do this part, you do not have to have the flame on or the fire. Now I'm just going to add my jar of celery. Because my celery is already cooked, that's why I can add it now. A little bit more chicken broth. You don't want it to be dry. So now I'm going to add my apple. Just put it, put it right on in there. Oh, I wish you could smell it. So that is it. This is our apple stuffing. Now we're going to go ahead and assemble it in a casserole dish. OK, 
Okay, so in my casserole dish, I do have it lightly sprayed with cook and spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and line the bottom with my pork chops. Now I have nine pork chops, but I don't think I'm gonna get them all in here. Okay, now this next step is completely optional. You do not have to do this if you don't want, but I'm gonna add a little bit of my complete seasoning just a little bit to the top. I just think it gives it a little bit better taste. But like I said, it is totally optional, but just a little bit to the top to season the pork. And now we're just gonna take our stuffing and lay it right over the top. So you wanna cover it with some aluminum foil and it's ready for the oven. Okay, so this goes into the oven now at 350 degrees because I want the pork to be completely done and as tender as possible. And of course you want it heated completely through. So keep a check on it, but you wanna bake it 350, 350 degrees for at least a minimum of 90 minutes. Okay, so it has been 90 minutes exactly. I'm gonna leave it sit for a couple minutes and then it'll be ready to dive into. So there it is, Garden Maters. I wish you could smell it. I really do, I wish you could smell it. It, it just smells so good. So I wanna make sure I get a piece of the pork and a piece of the stuffing with the apple. Looks like a big bite, but it really isn't. I've already let it cool quite a bit because it was so piping hot. Time for the taste. Oh. Mmm. Oh my word. Mm. That's so good. Mm -mm -mm. Really, really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. The apple is soft, but not too soft to be mushy. Perfect texture. Even the celery that I used that was canned, it's not mushy. Just soft. Oh, oh it's so good. Mm. And the flavors just went together perfect. It's, it, it's, it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. So my mom used to always make pork and stuffing in the oven exactly the same way, but she didn't put the apple in. I do it a lot her way. But just recently I started doing the apple and the apple just gives it a different flavor. It's just, it's just so good. And like I said, the seasoning that's in the stove top, it's perfect. You don't have to really add anything else to it. So if you have never made pork and stuffing in the oven and added an apple to make it apple stuffing, I highly recommend you try it. Now, one other thing you can do, if you don't want to add so much of uh, chicken broth into the stuffing when you're doing it in your pan, you can add a little bit of applesauce. Takes it up even higher with that apple flavor. So one other thing you can add into your stuffing after the apples, if you have them, one cup of diced cherries. They can be dried cherries or fresh, but that will also enhance the flavor of the stuffing make it taste even better. I would add them, but you guessed it, I don't have them. No matter how you decide to do it, trust me, it's gonna be delicious. It, it, I love it. So thank you all for joining me. So happy to have you here as always. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Love to have you as part of the community. Love to watch the Garden Majors grow. So until next time, I love you all. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you on the next video. <gasps> it's supper time. One other thing you can add to this. Really? Thank you. <laughs> I got a lot of cleaning up to do. I already started it. How come there's never any help? <laughs> there's never any help in the kitchen. I go feed your baby right now. <gasps> Yes, I give you a porky chop. I broke a thumbnail for this dish. 
but it was worth it. 